Hi, this is Brian, and I'm here with Shelby, my camera girl for the day, my daughter. Uh, we're here putting in our fall mineral site. Um, we're in Wisconsin. Unless you're near a home, you can't put one in other than when there's a deer season here. So this is just after deer season. We've already had a little snow. I was hoping that we wouldn't get that, but we did. Um, so we picked a spot here. Let me give you a little bit of layout on the land. Um, this is a high little oak knob out in the middle and it's surround and you'll see some some other types of trees out here too but over there is mostly lowland with a lot of hazelnut bushes and, and there's almost no trees out toward that direction behind us is a lot of flooded out area where the creek runs through and the creek runs through back this way through a grassy area and more lowland this is kind of a high knob um, so the deer bed in these areas back here and they move through this knob go to the creek for water and then way back about 200 yards is a cornfield and that's where they're headed for up there so they're headed for food most times so here on the top of this knob in an open area I put a couple of stumps down here to demonstrate our new product called Lucky 7 Trace Mineral Attractant um, it's pretty versatile so this will seem like a very big mineral spot and it will be in the end mostly because we're doing a demo here um, we normally wouldn't make one this big or this very but uh, like I said, we're just going to demonstrate the versatility. Now we don't have the packaging yet. We just started manufacturing. The packaging is still in the works. We're still doing some testing. But here's the product that we have now. Let's take a little peek in here. We have about four and a half pounds of it. And that's the product here. It's very aromatic. It's designed to give the deer stuff they want. Uh, to attract them over, you know, a little salt, some molasses, that kind of thing, but also some other ingredients that both add more aroma to it and carry that aroma at distance. So deer can, once this is open and put down, mixed with water, um, they'll be able to smell it pretty far away and pretty quickly. So the first thing we did is we got some water ready from the creek. We got about two gallons here, because I'm doing the stump first. So you take this and dump it in with about two, two and a half gallons of water per four or five pounds of mineral. The packages will be five pounds, so two and a half gallons of water should work good. And it's, it doesn't have to mix up perfectly. Just stick your arm in there, swirl it around a little bit. Kind of looks like mud, but that little bit is just the creek water too. Uh, that's fairly well dissolved. You'll still see some chunks in there. That's just perfectly fine. Now for this demo, like I said, we're doing a stump. So that's why we mixed it with a little less water than normal. And then we're slowly pouring it over this stump. Trying to I got the stump standing up so it gets in all the little creases and stuff. Because as you stumpers know, the deer will literally eat this stump away as they go after the mineral. Twigs, debris, all that stuff is fine. And boy, you can smell it like crazy already. There's some unmixed in the bottom there. Don't worry about it. Right, go on the top. If you want to wash it down a little bit with a little bit more water, you can do that as well. All right. All right that's how you use it on a stump. In just a minute, we'll do another video and show you how you would use it on the ground. All right, now we're on to the ground part. I mixed the five pounds this time. I did it off camera here. It's just, you've already seen me mix it once. Not that exciting. Um, mix five pounds, you know, it's about five gallons of water. And then I put it in this little depression. Clear a little spot here. As you can see, the ground's pretty wet, plus from the stuff we poured on the stump. All right, and just like before, Pour it down. I'm just going to mix a little bit more here. Unfortunately, we had some of this got a little bit wet, so previously it's not mixing quite as well as it normally would, but again, it's not that big a deal. Right, about a two foot, 
my two foot or three foot, foot my three foot spot. Works pretty good. All right, we got that foot down. And I'm gonna take a quick break here and then I'll show you a third use of the Lucky 7 Trace Mineral Attractant. All right, we put down some of our Lucky 7 mix on the stump. We have it on the ground. We have a, that would be a fine, a fine uh, mineral site. It will attract deer in just like that. And uh, from wide around, I mean, you can smell the stuff like crazy out here. And uh, it works just like that as an attractant. Lucky 7, however, it does have trace minerals in it. It is not meant for being not going to grow any antler antlers on your deer. Um, we are working on a product like that now, but it isn't ready yet. So a lot of people say, you know, great, we packed them, but we want to grow bigger antlers. Well, I recommend then buying the Lucky 7, doing like we did, and buying yourself a cheap, the cheapest minerals you can find that contain your calcium and your phosphorus. Here, this is calcium 15%. 7% phosphorus for a good 2 to 1 ratio. Um, then it's got 28 to 32% salt. Some more minerals in it and vitamins in there too. And it says it's apple flavored. I've never had any luck with apple flavored stuff, but we really don't care because we have the Lucky 7 down. And that's a 25 pound bag. Costs, it was on sale at Fleet Farm uh, for under 10 bucks. It was $9.98. So it's cheap. Now there's a lot of products on the market that claim to be both attractants and also antler growth minerals. I should try to open this the right way by the string. I got a little wet. So. <laughs> Carry that out of here later. All right. As I was saying, it's cheap for 25 pounds for ten dollars. You know, you can see some of the other products out there. One, that, one I can think of, uh, the Monster Racks. It's a mineral and attractant, but it's $15 for five pounds. Um, Lucky Seven, we hope to retail about $10 for five pounds. And then you can get this mineral, 25 pounds for another 10 bucks. So you got 30 pounds of material for 20 bucks. Do that at $15 for five pounds with the Monster Racks. Uh, you're looking at 60 bucks for the same amount of material. It just isn't that economical. I can't, I can't feed the deer $60 worth of material all the time. So this works out good for people who need a little bit cheaper. Maybe just buy some dical, di, calcium uh, phosphate from the feed store or whatever. Do this with the Lucky Seven and. You'll get your a lot of minerals in a deer much cheaper than buying those expensive products. So I'm going to put down about half this bag right now. You see, I'm going to put it around the edge. So where you put the fucking seven. Like I said, it's going to be a big mineral. Right. Just show it everything. All right. That's about half there. Put a little bit put it on top here. Right. That's it. Now we have our fall mineral site. The snow will settle on this later. Keep it protected till spring. And when spring comes, we will uh, have a mineral site ready for deer. And at that time, we will throw a trail camera on it and see what we get. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope uh, as soon as you keep an eye out, you know, keep an eye out for the Lucky Seven to come out on the market as soon as you see it. Hope you guys give it a try. Thanks a lot.